Welcome to Dennis Tech Tips. Today I want to show you how you can use Microsoft OneDrive. In case you are wondering, what is OneDrive? OneDrive is a cloud storage provider that enables you to save your documents in the cloud. It is the same thing as Google Drive and iCloud, but this particular one is owned by Microsoft. To save files in the cloud does not mean that your files are floating above you in the clouds. It is just you saving your files in one of the data servers provided by the cloud providers located in strategic locations around the world. So if you save your files in the cloud, you are saving your files in the cloud provider's computer. By doing this, you are backing up your files. For instance, if something happens to your computer and you can no longer get the files stored in it, if you have the files saved in OneDrive, you can very much retrieve those files. Secondly, you can access your files from anywhere in the world. If you live in Africa, and you have your computer and the files saved in it in Africa, and you take a trip to Asia, you can access your files and documents with OneDrive on any computer while in Asia, as long as you have them saved in it. Saving your files in the cloud also makes sharing and collaboration easy. That is, you don't have to email a file to someone to work on, and then when they are done, they will have to email it back to you. With OneDrive, you can simply share the file link to someone and then they'll be able to work on the file via the link you shared. So to get OneDrive, if you are using Windows 10 or 11, you already have OneDrive available on your PC. To launch it, go over to your search and then search for OneDrive. When you find it, click on it to open and sign in using your Microsoft account details. But if you are using a version of Windows that is lower than 10, you can download and install OneDrive on your computer. To download, head over to Microsoft.com. I have the link in the description of this video, and you can click on this to get here. OneDrive is also available on mobile phones. If you are using an iPhone, head over to your App Store, or if you are using an Android phone, head over to your Play Store. Search for OneDrive and you find the Microsoft OneDrive app. And then you can click on the Install button. But if you have it on your phone before, you can click on the Open button to launch. After launching OneDrive, on the left hand side of your taskbar, you should see the OneDrive icon. But if you can't find it, click on the little arrow pointing upwards and there you find the icon. When you click on the icon, you get this dialog and at the top it will show you the current status of OneDrive, if all the files are synced or not. If you just uploaded on OneDrive and it's still syncing, it will tell you that it is still syncing. And when the upload are done, it will tell you that all files are synced. Down here you see all your recent uploads to OneDrive. And when you click on these three dots, you see all the possible actions that you can take. You can open the file, you can share, you can view online, you can view version history. At the bottom of the dialog, you see four more buttons. You can open OneDrive folder on your PC. You can view OneDrive online. You can open OneDrive recycle bin and you can go premium. When you click on Open Folder, it will open your OneDrive folder in Fire Explorer. On the left hand side of Fire Explorer, you see all your folders and there you have OneDrive listed there as one of the folders. Within the folder, you see all your files that are uploaded in OneDrive. On the Status column, you see different icons there. The green circle with the check mark in the middle means that that particular document or file is available on your computer and also available in the cloud. The file with the cloud icon means that those files are only available in the cloud and not on your computer. To get such files on your computer, you can click on the file and then it will immediately be downloaded into your system and then open. And the icons that looks like arrows going in circles means that the files are in the process of syncing between the computer and in the cloud. When you right click on any of the files and click on the share option, you get this dialog. And right here you can share the file, you can have it set so anyone with the link can edit, or you select specific people. Within other settings, if you want them to be able to edit the file, you can check the allow edit button. You can even set an expiration date if you want them to be able to access the document for a particular period. Once it exceeds the expiration date, they will no longer get access to the file. You can even protect the file with a password so that it can only be accessed by people you share the password with. Back on the share screen, down here you can type in the recipient's name or email. 
and when you are done, click on the send button to send. Or you can copy the file link and share it with people on platforms like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram and the rest. Still on the right click menu, you can view the file online and view the version history. What you can do right here in the version history is, let's say you share the file with someone and the person made some changes that are not supposed to be. You can restore the original version of the file from here before the alteration. Next you have the always keep on this device option, which makes sure that the file is always in your system whether you have an internet connection or not. And with the free up space option, the file will be deleted from your system to free up some space but to be available in the cloud. That is pretty much how to use the OneDrive folder. Back on the OneDrive icon on the left hand side of the taskbar. The next button there is the view online button. When I click on that, it opens OneDrive on the web. Right here I see all my files and folders that have been saved in the cloud. When I click on this new button up here, I can create a new folder, Word document, Excel workbook, PowerPoint presentation, OneNote notebook, and a plain text document. And you can use all these programs completely for free. I have a video on this channel that shows you how to get Microsoft Office for free. You can go check that out if you are interested. I have the link to the video in the description of this video. Next to the new button, you have the upload button. Right here, you can upload files and folders into OneDrive. So whatever file or folder you upload will be synced between the OneDrive folder on your PC and the cloud. On the left hand side, you have a few folders right here. Within my files folder is where I have the new button and then the upload button. And I can view all my files. And when I right click on any of the files, I can preview the file. I can share, download, copy, move, and can even view the version history down here. One thing I want to call out within my files is this personal vote. The personal vote is where I can store or keep files that I want to make sure stay very private and secure. To be able to gain access to the personal vote, I will need to impute a special code from my phone or the code can be sent to me via my email. Still on the left hand side of the screen, next you have the recent folder, where I can view all my recent uploads into OneDrive. On the photos folder, I can view all the photos I uploaded into OneDrive. I have the shared folder. Right here I can view all the files I have shared with people. And lastly, I have my recycle bin, where all my deleted files go for a certain period before they are permanently deleted. And you can also retrieve files from here if you later change your mind about getting rid of them. That is how to use OneDrive online. Let's head over to the mobile phone app. Using OneDrive on your mobile phone is not that different from using it in a system folder or online. Right here you get same functionality. Within files, you will see all your files and folders. When you click on this plus button, you can create a new folder. Upload. Take a photo of a document. Scan a document. Create a Word document. PowerPoint presentation. Excel spreadsheet. Within shared, you can view your shared history. Within photos, you see all the photos you uploaded in OneDrive. When you click on the Me folder, you will see the files that you have made available offline your recycle bin, and a few more options. If you finally decide on getting OneDrive, there are different plans you can subscribe to and they come in different prices. Each plan has its own storage capacity. The higher the plan you subscribe to, the higher the storage space. The free version only gives you 5 gig of storage space. So that's it. That is how to use OneDrive. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like. To see more content like this, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.